Today's video is sponsored by Surfshark. Today's topic, Yosef from The Bachelor, Rich is back. I expected way more from the oldest bachelorette in history. Bro, what are you talking about? about? Remember, you're almost 40. Remember, you're almost 40. Woo! He went full petty. He went all over, yeah. He went, mm, you're almost 40. Hag. <laughs> Hag. Obviously, whatever chemistry and, and good feelings you had, it all changed dramatically after the strip dodgeball date. A, a date you, you weren't even on. What was it that struck such a chord with you? For context, uh, we did a previous video on this, but basically, um, Bachelorette asked a bunch of dudes to get down pretty much almost butt naked and to do dodgeball. Get, and he got get. upset about it, plus a few other things that she did that made him feel like she wasn't interested in actually dating and that she was wasting everyone's time which he got mad about because he's like i'm spending time away from my daughter and blah blah so he blew up on her during the show and he got a little bit of petty let's be honest you know i mean there were some red flags that popped up on our first group date actually and then the strip dodgeball was definitely something that i, I did not agree with um, but it was more than that it was the actual fact of the humiliation for the losing team I'm a very outspoken person. I'm going to speak my mind. And, you know, I think everyone deserves that, uh, that honesty. And, you know, I was raw. But I don't regret sticking up for these guys. I would sticking do it. Sticking up for us? Yeah. Okay, I was on a date. Yeah. I was too. And so was Damar. Yeah. We actually were three of the most naked guys, I think. I don't have a... I did, did you have a problem? No. At the end of the day, Yosef, like, we could have said no. Right. But I, I just don't get because you weren't there. Like, right, so it doesn't, it doesn't matter if I was there or not. I can have my own opinion about it. Whether he's there or not is irrelevant. It's more so about the intention of the bachelorette as she goes on dates with people. Yeah. You know, if I'm going on a date with somebody, but then she's going on different dates where she's basically, you know, jumping in, 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 in orgies and doing stuff like that, it might reflect terribly even if I'm not there present. What you do on your time and how you date has a reflection on how we're going to date. It's like, if you got one job, how you behave on other jobs is also gonna reflect on that job. If That's why they look at your resume. Isn't that correct? They look at your pack worse and past, past work history. References. Right. Yeah. So, so of course, irrespective of whether he's there or not, her behavior basically gives him an indication of where she's at with dating. The thing that happened and why it triggers a guy is that he says that he was defending the guys. That's what he said. He, yeah. said, he just said that. And that's why the guys are like, yeah, but you weren't there. Why are you defending us? That has nothing to do with us. Which I understand that point, but I understand exactly what you're saying. Like yeah. it, it, it doesn't change what you're saying. Mm. It doesn't change, change at all. But I see why the guys are like, bro, you're trying to speak for us, but you weren't there. And I didn't bring it up with you know really like any of y'all. No, didn't, no, like... but the, but once you start saying it, it makes us three look like <laughs> because we're the ones that did it willingly. Yeah, you guys are goofballs. Let me get this straight. You're mad at him because it makes you look terrible because you went through with it. Yeah, you look terrible because you went through with it and she put you through that. But with you also consented, so that's on you. That's on you. You look stupid before he said anything. That's your problem. It's not what he said that makes him look, look stupid. It's what you did. Yeah, because he respected what he was said or not. I mean, looking at a bunch of grown ass men stripping down butt naked to appease one single girl, you guys are super pathetic. You can, listen, you can argue that with anyone you want. Don't argue with me. I already have my opinion on it. All right, no, and I brought it up to the source. But I brought it, seems it up to the person you were there for. In a way. No, not in a yeah, way. Yeah, it was. It was kind of. Listen, I, I'm sorry you can't express like how you feel like as a man to someone, but like that's how yeah, I am. Yeah. That's petty, cause that had nothing to do with it. But petty, but also at the same time, these guys seem it. super simpy. Here's my thing, okay? That, but it's come out afterwards that this girl had zero intentions of dating anybody on the show and had already made up her mind beforehand. Imagine being isolated for multiple weeks, going through tests, being away from your family to try to be with somebody who's already wasted everybody's time. So she was unbelievably disrespectful and it turned out that Yosef was right about how she feels about dating. Yeah, but the thing is that's what the bachelorette and the bachelor is. I'm talking about the point where you're saying that this is super simpy. What is super simpy is bachelor oh, and yeah, bachelorette. Oh, we agree on that. that that's what it, on that's that. all I said. We agree on that. That's the minute you're on the bachelorette sure, or the I bachelor, agree. I agree. You, you fall into that category because that's the name of the game. Yeah, yeah. That's what but it it's is. crazy that these guys are going to simp this hard. No. He, he called her out on her bullshit, if, and these guys... If what? they don't simp this hard, it discredits their simping. You know what I mean? They already said yes to the simping when they, they signed up on that shit, okay? Mm -hmm. And them being like, yeah, no, I'm not about that. It just discredits them simping from the get-go. Screaming, like, yelling and screaming like that, that demeaning? You brought because up, he didn't Joseph, talk about Joseph, the I think, I think yeah. we can Joseph. all like, go back and see. Hold, hold on a second. 
I think we all back and see that. He looked like a kid who got his lunch money taken. Shut up! You know when your mom beats you and you get a little tantrum? You can't Yo, say man, shit, you this... can't yell because your mom's on the other side and she's gonna beat your ass even. You can't say shit. Today's video is sponsored by Surfshark VPN. So a VPN is basically an application or a web extension that you could use on your web browser or on your internet to mask your IP address, basically hiding your location from whatever website you're interacting with. Now, you might think, why would I wanna hide where I'm at? It doesn't matter. Well, unfortunately, there are places that block you based off of your IP address. And so if you're trying to view online content, download certain things based off where you live, those things could be restricted. Now, I like watching TV shows feel me sometimes they're foreign feel me and when that happens basically I use a VPN to be able to bypass that so I can watch what I want to watch because I feel like the internet's at its best when everything's accessible if you use promo code ABBA and preach you get 83% off plus three months free so take advantage of the deal watch what you want to watch and don't be restricted by anyone's barriers you deserve to go wherever you'd like to go I think we all back and see that that conversation started out very calm, cool, and collected. It didn't like ex accelerate until Claire started because talking about my daughter. Because you controlled the whole conversation. And when she tried to express and say, Yosef, I completely first, understand where you're coming from. No, first, no, shut the f up, Yosef. Then you just took it to a whole new level of disrespect. You guys know that you guys are not chosen by her? <laughs> you understand that there's nothing to fight for anymore? God damn. You guys understand that, right? Listen. Like, y'all lost equally. You understand that, right? There's nothing to fight for. Guys like this are the reason why so many women have disillusioned ideas of like how men should behave. Because these guys will go above and beyond to simp for a woman who spat in their face. And it's just crazy. He's like, bruh, let her husband defend her. Why are you going out of the woodwork after she spat in your face? Like how pathetic and grovelly do you have to be to be like, I'm the defender of justice. She got a man. She chose him before the show started. Shut your goddamn mouth! Merde! Emancipate yourself for mental simping. Nothing but yourself can free your mind. Tell me when I was walking out. Why y'all gotta wait a few months to tell me? I'm telling you right now, and we are only 10 feet from each other. Come on, no, 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 seriously. Wait, 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 wait. I am 10 feet from you, and I am telling you right now. Not just Riley, we're all telling you how it is right yeah, now. Yeah, man. I think the most shocking thing is that you have no regret or remorse. Not only are you owning the behavior, but the way in which you went about it is really shocking. I respect y'all's opinion, but I have my own opinion and I'm gonna stand by that. So just so... <laughs> you know what they're giving me vibes of? They're giving me like uh, Oprah vibes during the Me Meghan Markle interview. <gasps> no. What? We're clear, when you watch that, you're like, that's cool. I would never mind anyone talking to my daughter like that. I hate when people use that argument. Go the ahead. fact that it's in your family, that it's your daughter, your mom, doesn't have absolution of accountability. It, it's not what it means. You know what I mean? It could be my... Like, you have to acknowledge that even if it's your daughter, your son, your father, your grandfather, your cousin, they can still be shitty people. And you got to hold them ac accountable. Well, no, not everything would change. If it would be my daughter, then no, I could possibly have someone... Talk to my daughter. What if your daughter was a shitty ass person? Do some shitty shit. And you know what? Fuck it. We've all done some shitty shit. All. All of us. But the fact that I'm someone's son or whatever doesn't... No, you say sorry. You said no. You said you, you hold yourself accountable for what you did. The fact that you related to the person doesn't change anything. Doesn't remove the accountability. Oh, yeah, but it's my daughter. Yeah, no one would talk like that. If the person is shitty, the person is shitty or done some shitty things. I rarely do this. I want to try to help you help yourself. I've seen a lot of crazy stuff in 20 years, but that was really not a good look. It just the way the way it escalated, the way you spoke. But what I would love is if you could just see that and just be like, you know what? I do see that. And Claire, for that, I'm sorry. I'm not gonna apologize to Claire. And with all due respect, like I don't. Like, Thank God, bro. Thank God. Imagine like, trying to coerce someone into an apology that they don't want to give. Thank this you. This show is utter trash. Thank. I really don't care what any of these guys really think about me. I'm gonna stay true to myself. Okay. I 
Imagine being this like dejected because somebody's not a simp like you. Because the rest of these guys are super simple. I'm sorry. Well, like the way that they're reacting to everything that he says and his difference of opinion, the fact that they don't like the way that he specifically talked to a woman who is also disrespectful towards him. Who cares? It's like she, it, it was, it, a it was the it, fact that she was wasting your time, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, 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 but more than that, it's like also like she reciprocating that conversation. It just it's so fascinating to me that I can't believe that he said all that when I'm like, bro, did you not hear what she said? Did she not say the exact same stuff about, oh, I don't want you erasing any of my kids? Do you not remember her saying that either? No? Okay. Just want to make sure. That's why you weren't on the date. You don't remember none of that? Okay, just want to make sure. And, and that's the thing. Just want to make sure. This is what, this is what I'm talking about. When women often do these kinds of things, their participation in whatever argument or fight ensued is completely ignored. And the man's reaction or action they're like, bruv, is off the focal bruv, point. Bruv, you're telling me. Yeah. You're telling me. Go ahead. Out of all people, you're telling me. Go. Oh. The, the, the guy that was security, that was bouncer. I've seen women grope men. And when the guy was like, yo, what the hell are you doing? They took out the guy. Some people, some of my bosses asked me to take out guys that didn't do nothing. That got us did. You're telling me? Like I don't know? Tell them. In the bar, that's what it is. If a guy grabs a girl's ass, we're taking out the guys. We're, we're taking it out. And we should. And we should. As we should. I'm not even disputing that. But if a woman does the same thing. We're not gonna take the guy out, but if he and and if there's something and that's the problem is if I see no one acting, no one saying shit, no one bat batting an eye, girls assaulting me or other people of my like other people of my team or other patrons, other people in the bar, nobody bats an eye, nobody says nothing, but the minute someone says, "Hey, you know what? Hold up, wait a minute, uh, stop." Cause everything is a joke, especially when they tipsy tips. No, 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 I'm not. I'm not kidding. Stop doing that. And they keep on laughing, and I gotta raise my voice because I'm not being heard. But the minute I raise my voice, I'm the one that's being taken out. I'm the one that have to take out people. Some of my bosses been like, "No, you have to take this guy out." Nah, she's the one that fucked. Yeah, but you know, girls bring boys, and boys spend. So get rid of the guy. You're telling me this, man. The number of times that this happens. That you get a so man. Whew, I need to chill. I need to fucking chill. I need to calm the fuck down. Yeah, nah. Nah, B. Mm-mm. Alright. Nah. Alright. <laughs> nah, B. <Are> you <laughs> nah. I'm good. You can shut it off. Mira como